hello everyone and welcome to my channel i've been wanting to do this video for a very very long time because it has so many questions that i get asked every day on um, instagram so i just decided that you know what it's time for me to address this question i'm just quickly going to start from the basics um studying physiotherapy and probably in my next video i will talk about um being a physiotherapist and i'll do more videos for students so first things first okay uh, what is physiotherapy first before you even consider doing physiotherapy it is very important for you to um, know what it is i mean when i was in grade 10 luckily we had an um what do you call it an assignment to go and research on whatever you want to do there's a lot of things that we said and talked about but i don't remember much of the things i remember that it's very difficult to get in him telling me that it's very difficult to get in and good luck so but i got in in any way so um i just knew that this is what i wanted to do i just didn't see myself not that i didn't see myself doing anything else but this was what I saw myself doing. Okay. Next question. So, yeah, so I answered it in my way. So you had to go do your extensive research on what physiotherapy is. By extensive research, I mean in terms of figures, because a lot of people ask me about money. Um, go to someone you know, go to a hospital. I don't know if they're going to tell you like how much you make, because that's very smart actually for an 18 year old to ask about money when i was 18 i didn't care how much i'm making i just wanted to make sure i'm happy so go and find out how much you're gonna make how are you gonna work in reality because when you start working it's obviously gonna be in a hospital setting and not in an outpatient setting okay so where can i study physiotherapy a second question Physiotherapy is only offered in South African universities and not all universities. I'll tell you guys where you can study physiotherapy. Hmm, I hope um, I don't mess this one up. I once encountered someone who told me that she really loves physiotherapy and she got a college um, in Joburg CPG where she can do it, guys, the way of stems. Yeah, you can only... Um, study physiotherapy in a university because you require admission you look like what what do they call it like admission to bachelor's degree from your metric certificate okay so you can do it at up university of pretoria you can do it at university of cape town you can do it at university uh, of bits bits restaurants also known as vets you can do it at Sifako Mahato Health Science University, which was formerly known as Medunsa. I know you definitely can't do it at University of Limpopo yet. They don't have it. You can do it at um, Stellenbosch University, Bloemfontein University. You can do. You can't do it at Univen. You can't do it at the University of Mpumalanga. You can't do it at University of Johannesburg. That's just some of the places where I know for a fact that you can't do it there. Yeah, so that's where you can study physio and the requirements. So every university has different requirements. I'm going to drop a link below with all the requirements that you have or you need for each of the universities where you can study physiotherapy in South Africa. But um, what I know is a couple of universities for now, like I'll speak mostly on Stockholm Hatha Health Science University and what I know from other universities. I know Stockholm Hatha Health Science University requires a level four in mathematics, level four in physical science and life sciences and level four for English and then additional subjects, I think also level four. So the APS is like standing at like um, 28 which is really very low so what i mean by really very low is competition is high people love physiotherapy physio if people don't get in for medicine they go to physio but trust me you don't want to be that person who didn't make it into medicine and then you end up in physio because you'll end up wanting to go to medicine in any ways so i just don't support the idea of um not making it into what you want and then 
going to do something else forever like i also didn't make it into physiotherapy same time because when i went i went january to do my application at medunsa and physiotherapy had closed the previous year in in june so i ended up applying for something else i got it in and i made sure that i do apply on in time this time so that um i can actually do what i want so please be above the requirements guys for anything that you want to do because hey you guys better get higher marks than what is required for anything that you want to go inside question and um, let's talk about the duration of the course and what will you learn okay so physiotherapy is four years long and obviously first year is basically your science years mm, you are going to do biology biology in in high school versus biology in, in varsity for me is two different things the one in high school is scope is this much the one in varsity yo biology yeah me sir yay if you want to know what about 20 seconds go varsity varsity biology is one of the culprits hey biology next thing is okay physics biophysics it's like biophysics is basically like physics but they use biological examples but it's physics so it's hard and yes guys and you're gonna do psychology psychology is such a cute course guys i mean really you take to do english for health sciences then you're gonna do an uh, introduction to physiotherapy. I'm not lying. Okay, I'm lying. It's basically principles of physiotherapy, which is a subject which has a lot of other subjects underneath it. Do it from first year all the way to third, fourth year. And then you do, yes, you also do chemistry, guys. I didn't have to do chemistry, luckily. I got, um, I didn't have to do chemistry because I got, um, what do you call it? Not excluded. I got, I got exempted from um, chemistry. Basically, I think I just covered all of them. And yeah, that's first year. In second year, that's when you get introduced to your anatomy and physiology. Ooh, I, and in third year, you obviously have your clinical the clinical sciences that's where you like do a lot of clinical subjects like the clinical subjects that some of them are not really re much related to physiotherapy but because you will be in a clinical setting they find that it's very important that you know it's basically anapath in a nutshell uh psychiatry in a nutshell so that you are here when you get to like clinical practice orianjan yes Cool. So that's third year, fourth year, so nice. Principles of physiotherapy and um, third year you also do research. Sucks, but you do it. Then fourth year you do research because it is actually an honors degree. So it requires you to get like research work done. And then you do um, principles of physiotherapy. And then you also do... Um, what do they call it? Applied physiotherapy. That's like, a... by the way, that's for Stock Mahata Health Science University. Universities are structured differently, but not like completely differently, but there is quite a difference. So, yeah. Okay, people say, I don't know where to start. Um, that's one of the questions I've got from my social media. And, whew, did I know where to start? Did I even have any reference point? No, you start where you are, you start with what you have. And I must tell you, to be quite honest, you start with applying every single way. Do not focus on a university. That was my mistake also. In That's why I didn't get into SMU the first time around with physiotherapy. Because I had an idea in my head that I'm going to bed, finish and grab. And then... There's so many other universities, there's so many other options, so please, this is your future. Do not cling on a university or on your, how you want to see yourself doing the whole um, varsity life. Like, 
So study wherever. It's not even about where you study. Make sure that you get in and you can study. Sharp. Grand. Okay. So I recommend Sifa um, Komahato Health Science University a lot. Apply everywhere. Just because I recommend it SME doesn't mean that's where you're going to be accepted. You might be accepted at UP, you might be accepted at Fred, you might be accepted elsewhere. So definitely apply where else. Go and get zonkies in the overseas even if you can. Okay, so where you can work. Oh, shame. There's so many places that you can work with physiotherapy. And there's a lot of people who are currently like, there's more physios employed than non-employed. So yeah, majority have jobs. And um, you can work anyway. You can work in a hospital whether it being a private hospital or a government hospital. First, after graduating, let me just put it out there. You are going to do community service. What a fun field year. I mean, I mean fun field because it's just like, it's a free year. It's like that year where you get to rest but work as well. It's like that year where you just put in your name in a system, ICSP system, and you get a job and you must get it. Like it's required from the government to give you all community service and you get paid for it so yeah that's the nice part for me it's like and then after concert you can work um in a school whether it's a disability school um home orphanage home or a disability home you can work for a sports team hey this one guys the connection but i truly believe that if you really want to do it connection my ass you work your ass up and when you work your ass up that's actually when you make connections so kind of like it's together that you can't you no man is an island so you can't really be dependent on yourself in this field you need to know people anyways wherever you go so then the next thing um where you can work is private hospital or public hospital i've said this before public hospital practices whether you open for yourself or you work for someone else are mostly specialized so you'll get a practice which is like an orthopedic practice or cardiac patient practice or medical practice you know so that's the that's the thing about them it's and you have to think about it like most people do physio they love physio in eternity but if you are someone who um likes a certain part of physio like a lot more like maybe you love peace more then it means you're gonna try to get into the private practices that are working with peace and you can also work in public public you should be able to experience everything but some hospitals are much smaller so you won't get that much so <laughs> okay uh fees and exercise buzzery so i got this question and i believe that nfsas is giving people buzzeries if you joined um income parents income is less than i think now it's six hundred and fifty thousand per annum that's a lot so it's amazing so medunta ish the whole nfs thing guys you guys have seen it on twitter it's actually quite it's quite frustrating and you, you just, nobody understands it. well i don't understand how it works how the system works People who are like so needy apply for that thing and they still just don't get it. They go and check their name on the board over and over again and they just not be. There are people who are average who get it. I haven't seen like, yeah, but like what I'm trying to say is it's tricky. I don't know how they go about it, but you guys have to apply. Apply. Don't let the fear of how you're going to pay your fees stop you from getting into what you want to do. Stop you from studying physio. So apply and then you'll cross that bridge when you get there. I mean, I only got my buzzery when I was doing like, okay, first year I got a buzzery definitely because of my academic merit from my high school results. So if your high school results from high school, when you go to Sifakomakatao Science University are above, um, I think it's 75, then you get a buzzery and that buzzery pays for your fees. But... They don't pay for accommodation like rest and they also don't pay for registration and they don't pay for books 
Okay, what books it's like now returning three more to the laptop. Like I literally only started through laptops. I had a couple of textbooks that I was scanned in first year by some media. <sighs> sure. Sorry for another day. Nah, you guys, I must have that story card here. How I got scammed. And this guy scammed so many other hi eh, eh, let me not get into it. So buzzeries. There's a lot of government buzzeries. Um, for physiotherapy specifically, I think it's either you're getting NFSAs or you're getting um, government buzzery for 90% of the people. I've seen people with other buzzeries that I'm trying to remember what which buzzery it was, what was it called, so that you know exactly which one to apply for. Okay, so buzzeries are there, guys. Government is giving a lot of buzzeries and NFSAs is also there, so... Apparently, NFSAS, if you get an average of more than 65% for your duration of study, it automatically gets converted into a buzzery. I don't know how true that is, but I truly believe it. I've heard it. I've read it somewhere. But it's where I'm sitting right now. I don't know if that has changed with everything that has changed in our country since um, bees must fall movement. Amanda. Life as a physio student's hard battle. <laughs> fun it is so much fun i need to wrap up this video life as a student is fun whatever you're studying you just have to make the best out of it don't be too serious don't be always about books but have fun you only live once you just left home but you know what even if you don't enjoy it even if you at Rangoy, you just have that freedom enjoy yourself enjoy very responsibly don't do crazy things don't go crazy like no remember like it's just study pass the exam celebrate when there's a celebration don't try to go out every friday celebrate when there's a friend's birthday celebrate when you know be responsible it's nice to be a physio student i mean you experience so much you get to do some sports events sometimes where you're just like helping prof um, qualified physios um for sports games and that's a lot of experience they even pay you for some of them so that's that's the nice part very nice to be a physio student uh, oh i just got like some of these questions i get them a lot on instagram so one of the questions i think this one is more relevant to like how did you make it through second year to like students but yeah we'll get to that on my next video um, i recommend you to study at Spakomakata health science university whether it's physio or anything else, that university is brilliant. It's a health science university. Everything there, the focus is all about health. And they care. Like, you're not just going to get financially excluded just like that. You're not going to go. You're not going to sleep hungry. You're not going to sleep on an empty stomach. You're not going to be bullied. You're not going to be um, racially discriminated by anyone or anything like that. I black child that university is for us it's made for us <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for watching my video i'll be doing a couple of more videos regarding this subject like you know and yeah if you have any questions regarding studying physiotherapy in south africa please drop them below so this was just for you um whether you I get a lot of questions man like from people who are doing Herbalife. My personal trainers at the gym, they always ask me. Um people I don't even know like who are still in high school, so I mean yeah, go for it guys. I can't wait for you guys to join us. It's an amazing profession where you just use your hands to heal people. Use these things, guys, if you know what you're doing, you can save lives you get so much knowledge it is a medical um profession so you end up having so much knowledge i mean come on i love this i love this profession it's beautiful you get to work with people you get to save people's lives you get to make people's lives uh worth living you get to make your your own life worth living you have peace of mind you can be you don't have too much pressure and I just love physio and if you love physio go ahead go and study it and if you make it in please send me like a dm follow me on the socials nomfundo underscore 17 on instagram 
noms n-o-m-s underscore candy on twitter and i think i have a facebook account that i don't use thank you so much for watching bye